So here we have the OnePlus Nord. This is the box. It looks pretty fancy. A Nord on the top, a OnePlus logo at the bottom and a OnePlus Nord logo here. And you can see shining through the color of this device. So if you take a look at the back, you can have some more information here. OnePlus Nord 128 gigabytes blue marble version with 8 gigabytes of RAM, 120 gigabytes, 128 gigabytes of internal space. Qualcomm powered Snapdragon 765G. And um, yeah, let's unpack it. Ta-da! This way, Nord. This is the device itself. Let's put it aside. Let's take a look at what we have in here. Ah, fancy new style. You can see the bluish color. Wow, this is really thick. Looks like we have a welcome letter inside of here with some warm words by the developers. As you can see here, the CEO here, as well as the whole team developing for OnePlus and who developed the Nord. Then we have some materials, as you can see, it comes with a case, a silicon case. And yeah, this is an interesting silicon case. It has some buttons here. It has a cutout for the slider, I show you later, and another button here for the main power button. A nice uh, what should it be? I don't know. The grippy thing here on the back is also cool. You can feel it really with your fingers. It's really, really grippy. And yeah, it's a soft case. And the case has one thing special, which is a flap for the USB-C port. Uh, I never saw this before on a case. Very interesting. Then besides that, we have some materials here. Ah, uh, the typical toilet paper. No, 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 they have stickers in here. The OnePlus Nord stickers. Very interesting. So they do something like Apple does with their products. Then we have a quick start guide here. Safety information and highest uh, SR, SAR value. Oh, you are. And of course, last but not least, the SIM eject tool that you need to open this device up to put some SIM card inside. Then what do we have here? We have the European model because this device is sold in Europe and this is a 30 watt charger. So a power brick that allows you to charge 30 watts, which is quickly, which allows you in half an hour, 60%, I think, which is pretty, pretty fast. You can see here OnePlus logo as well, and it's a little bit big. And if you are in New Zealand, like I am, you get this here, which is a 15 watts charger. I bought my device from PB Tech, one of the largest technology selling companies here in New Zealand. So you can get lots and lots of smartphones and other tech gadgets here. There's no advertisements. It's just like uh, so that you know. And they give you this um, travel adapter, which is, I think, 15 watts or 18 watts, something like this. So it's not as fast as it could be, but it has the New Zealand plug, which is important for New Zealand. Otherwise, what do we get? We get a USB type C cable here with the iconic OnePlus color and these brackets that hold it together, which is pretty nice because you can use it later on for traveling. And that's everything. The box is empty. It's a very thick box, as you can see here. So that is everything. It's nice that they include a case in the side of it, even if it's only uh, yeah, a plastic case, a very soft case. So let's get this bad boy out of here this way Nord and we can see here to maximize the performance of our in-display fingerprint sensor we recommend using screen protectors from OnePlus and our official partners. I can also tell you this with other devices this works best with the on uh, already put on screen protector or some screen protector that is meant for this otherwise it will bend the light and it will look 
a bit weird. So how do you get this out? This way north it says, so north is upside. North is by the way a German or Celtic word for the north, so the, the upside. And this is how we get it out. And you can see some fingerprints because it's not the first unboxing I did. Well, I was not satisfied with the first unboxing, so I created another unboxing here. So we can see the 6.44 inch display at the front with the punch hole pill shaped camera. Two cameras at the front, on the front, 8 megapixel wide angle and a 32 megapixel normal angle camera. Nice device. You can see here at the side we have a volume rocker. On the other side we have a power button which has, um, yeah, I think the same styling, not a color difference here. And we have a nice little switch to switch in between mute or vibration alarm. So if you don't want to have your ringtone running you can just have a physical switch which is pretty nice. I think the only other device I know of are the iPhones that have a physical switch to turn off a ringer. Then on the back we have the OnePlus logo followed from another OnePlus logo and yeah a CE signature here which is like every European device has to have this certificate so it can get on the market there. And we have the camera set up, a pretty nice camera set up. We have like the main camera, 48 megapixels. We have an 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 5 megapixel depth and 2 megapixel uh, macro uh, camera here. We have a dual LED flash as well. And the camera is able to record 4K uh, 30 frames per second. The front cameras are also uh, able to record 40, uh, 4K 30 frames per second. Yeah, this is the device on the top. We only have a microphone. On the bottom we have a speaker. We have USB Type-C, another microphone and we have the SIM slot which has space for two nano SIM cards. This is basically the device. So let's turn it on to see if it has some juice. Huh? Slight vibration, OnePlus logo powered by Android and it's turning on. Nice good animation I would say. You know those fancy animations by every manufacturer but I think OnePlus has a nice one here. Hi there. We can choose whatever we like to start. The OnePlus terms and conditions, we agree, of course, we are selling our soul. Do we want to participate in any? No, we don't participate in anything. We don't have a SIM card inserted. We want to enter Wi-Fi. I will enter the Wi-Fi password here and con hit connect. It's obtaining the address here, connecting to the internet, and this will take a few seconds. And it is checking for updates already, which is also pretty interesting. So just like any other Android device I opened up and started on the first time, it is checking for updates. Here you can see the cutout, the pill form. I would rather have another hole punch only and not this cutout. But uh, if you have a wide angle, uh, they have some kind of an argument to say, okay, it makes sense to have a pull out shape. You know, the K30, I was criticizing very harshly because it only has a depth sensor in this pull out shape. Copy apps and data. Ooh, we don't want to copy apps and data. We just say, let's go forward, fresh install, check for info. I'm not sure what it's doing now. And sign in to Google so we can skip this right now. Then we have here the OnePlus uh, co-creation user programs which uh, allows us to participate in some thing here. We can skip this or agree. We get push notification and built-in app updates and system stability program. Let's say we agree to this. Then how to use the fingerprint scanner. 
shows us where the fingerprint scanner is located. We have to have our screen lock. I just use a very safe pin right now. Uh, you saw the pin probably and now I can just simply put my finger here and it is starting to scan and it's an optical fingerprint scanner as you can see. It is scanned in my finger. Continue the setup. Oh, let's continue. See what it wants. It wants some Google stuff apparently. Check out what's trending on Google Assistant. Okay, skip. Anything else? We can add an email account now. We can change the font size, change the wallpaper, review additional apps. No thanks. We want to add the finishing touches and uh, we can choose the font either either one plus slate font which, which is recommended or the roboto font which is the standard font well, let's take the uh, ones that are recommended we have the option to choose the navigation either the free button navigation style or navigation gestures i like the gestures so i keep gestures here and the gestures are shown here as well and yeah it gives me the option to to do to have like a demo how it will work okay it worked setup complete start and now i'm on my device and it starts already downloading you can see here ooh nv backup warning invalid to vip ooh switch launcher layout get more blah blah sync your new phone update now oneplus nord oxygen os 1055 and a number is there already and yeah this is the oneplus nord and this is the first time i booted it up and i ran through the setup so you have some kind of an idea how it works let's go into settings let's check the system and here you can see a snapdragon 765g 8 gigabytes of ram 128 gigabytes of storage you can see here the camera very nice screen 90 hertz fluid amoled screen we can also see the android version 10 oxygen os version 10.5.3 the model number and some legal information if you want to let's go to the display and see if we have the refresh rate on 90 hertz yes it is on 90 hertz and this is how it looks like on 90 hertz of course i'm recording here with i think 30 frames per second you will not see this uh, i will run through all the settings probably to show you what oneplus has to offer but this is everything for this little unboxing and first installation wizard run through of the oneplus nord i hope you enjoyed it you can subscribe you can ask questions and add some comments that's everything for this video uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.